sleep, you know, we talk about how the sleep is so important for overall health, but sleep in the, in the, in the bigger context of establishing a healthy circadian rhythm. So, you know, there have been recent studies that show that it's the circadian rhythm. Establishing a good circadian rhythm actually sets the immune system up because bacteria and viruses have their own circadian rhythm. And the immune system can then establish a circadian rhythm that will allow it to fight and suppress infection. Fascinating. So working on making sure that we're, we're getting our circadian rhythm in place, sleep is a big part of that. And from the moment you wake up in the morning to the time you go back to bed, you're actually preparing yourself for sleep. And the, for one of the best things you can do in the morning is wake up, open a window, open a door, go outside, get some fresh air, and look into the sky. Because that, you know, when you're, that light hits your, hits your brain, there's a certain nucleus that sets your circadian rhythm for the day. And it's going to now start preparing for 12 to 14 hours later when you go to sleep. Um, to have you completely ready to sleep in a comfortable and restorative way. That's Life great. So, so really, you know, what you're saying, George, is that with functional medicine, whether it's shingles or any other viral issue or preventing infections, you had yeast infections, all those two things, that we have a lot we can offer from the perspective of functional medicine. <laughs> 